Well, New Zealand has recorded its first COVID-19 death in more than three months. The man in his 50s is the country's 23rd fatality. The man was part of a second wave cluster of infections that emerged in Auckland last month. He was the youngest to die from the disease in New Zealand. It's, it's not known if he had a pre-existing medical condition. New Zealand has reported five new virus cases, three of them in the community. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says that the current coronavirus restrictions will remain in place until at least the middle of this month. She says it's a precautionary measure. Auckland, the country's largest city and the centre of a fresh outbreak, will remain on alert level 2.5. Now, that means gatherings are limited to no more than 10 people, and people also have to continue wearing masks on public transport. For the other parts of the country, gathering sizes are kept to no more than 100 people. I think one of the reasons perhaps we've seen the ongoing level of compliance that we have, which relative to other countries is still very good, is because New Zealanders have seen it, seen it pay off. It takes hard slog and a big effort, but they do see the benefit. They see restrictions lift and they see life resuming. And so that continues to be part of our strategy, put in that big effort of going hard and early, but ultimately see the gains from, from that in the long term.